Hey boys and girls and the parents, uh, this is Mr. Dice with your Science Weekly Update. And um, this week we have exactly three weeks left in the school year. I can't believe it where time is concerned. It just floats away without any respect for anybody. Time is something else. Anyway, um, so we're getting into the review uh, for this for this um, semester, okay? Everything you learned from January all the way up until now, you will be you will be tested in in those areas for the semester exam. So what you need to do is to pay attention to go back through January and then look all the way through weather, climate, um, all the different forms of precipitation, um, instruments you use to measure weather. Um, different climatic conditions and climatic factors, those areas you're looking at, okay? You want to make sure that you're getting those down in your brain and so you can regurgitate them on paper, okay? Um, so for this week, we're actually finishing up a topic, okay? The topic is um, how scientists use electromagnetic radiation um, as they study space. So they use different forms of radiation in um, in satellites and on those satellites they use um, um, telescopes okay uh, apart from that they use telescopes on earth so some of those telescopes can be optical telescopes or non-optical telescopes the optical telescopes can be grouped into two forms you have the refracting telescopes or you have the um, reflecting telescopes those ones are re the refracting ones they use lens and the reflecting ones, obviously, they use uh, mirrors because only mirrors can reflect um, light. Okay. And then you have the non-optical ones, which deals with your radio waves, radio um, telescopes. You have the infrared telescopes. You have the um, X-ray telescopes, gamma ray telescopes. Okay. Those ones take pictures from Earth all the way up into space and looking at... Um, different objects and um, systems such as galaxies and so on okay all right so that's what we're doing this week now very importantly guys you have the um the packet that you're doing the review packet you got one last week and you got one this this week um today is monday so you're doing one this week as well as um uh, i'm the one last week okay so what i want you to pay attention to you have these packets, you really need to do them as you get them. Try and do them um, as quickly as possible because you have two per week. You have one on Monday, one on Wednesday, and then obviously you're going to get one on Friday to turn in as well, okay? So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to those. Um, those review packets, they are um, they're covering from January. It's a semester review so you want to pay attention pay very close attention to them okay make sure you do them we 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 are going to do it's two grades i'm being as, um, i'm assigning to those one for class and one for homework so you're making sure that you complete it in class as you get independent work to do and then you're doing it when you go home you do the rest of it and then we go through it in class if you have any questions please shoot me a message on Edsby or you want to make sure that you um, you ask your questions in class. If you have questions and, uh, and we can't get to them, you write them down and then um, we'll get to them eventually, okay? All right, hoping to see your smiling faces as usual um, throughout the rest of this week and also into next week and the following week with testing. Um, stay focused, stay alert in your educational growth making sure that you're learning everything you can, okay? All right, guys, this is Mr. Dice with your Science Weekly Update. Have a great week. Bye-bye.